ladies and gentlemen, your villain of Warhammer 3, the First Damned. First Damned! The God Slayer. God Slayer! Harbinger. Harbinger! The Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord! Bella Core. Call me Dark Master! Uh, you're a Dark Master, you're a Dark Master. Feed me souls! What? I haven't got any. Bella Core! That's what I said, you tramp sock. Anyway, the first Demon Prince is going to be playable in Warhammer 3, but only in certain ways. We're going to take a close-up look at him, though, his stats, his spells, his abilities, and see what he can do. Fun fact as well is that he's voiced by Richard Armitage, who many of you may know as Thorin Oakenshield from the Hobbit movies. Pretty cool. So, the first thing to know is that Bellacor is going to be part of the Demons of Chaos army and will be in their roster in custom battles and multiplayer custom battles, but not ranked battles because Demons of Chaos aren't in ranked battles. You're not allowed to play them. Furthermore, when you load up the game for the first time, you will not find Bellacor in the roster because you have to unlock him by simply completing a campaign, which shouldn't be too hard as you'll probably be doing that anyway. Now to the Dark Master's stats. As we can see, he is a big damage dealer, lots of weapon strength, armor piercing, big melee attack as well, chunky charge bonus. He's just going to do a lot of damage in melee as one would expect. Decent melee defense and a bit of armor as well, so some defenses. He is flying, so he has that mobility to get around and in and out of trouble quickly. He also has a whopping 10k health, which is more than most. And he's a spellcaster with the Lore of Shadows. So let's take a look at all that stuff. For his spells and abilities, he's got Shadow Shroud, which gives him a 40% damage resistance for 33 seconds. Nice protection when he's in trouble. And then the Dark Master, a big reduction to melee attack for a single target. Useful for helping him avoid damage when he's in melee, maybe specifically when against single targets like other lords and heroes. And then here's all the Shadow Law book. We know all about this, of course. He can fly as well, so he does have that mobility to get around quickly. You can toggle and land him on the floor if you'd rather, though. Got Smoke and Mirrors as part of the Shadow Law book. Then he's got Blade of Shadow. This will increase his armor piercing damage and melee attack the more stuff he kills. So as the battle wears on, the stronger and more dangerous he'll become. Then he has Lord of Torment. This will heal him when an enemy unit is wavering nearby him. So when their leadership is low or they're routing, he'll get a little heal. And then a first for Total War Warhammer, Whispers in the Darkness. This will give an area minus eight leadership, but will also remove immunity to psychology, which is pretty huge and something we've never seen before, I don't think. So that's pretty crazy. If a unit is immune to fear and terror, well, not anymore. Not when Bellacor's around anyway. He also has a physical resistance, a missile resistance, causes terror himself and is, of course, a demon. So needless to say, Bellacor is incredibly strong. He's got huge damage dealer combat stats, has the Law of Shadows, which has a lot of damage spells as well, but he has a lot of defensive abilities. He's got that heal, he's got that damage resistance, the minus melee attack for an enemy, a missile resistance as well. So needless to say, he's going to be a bit of a nightmare, as one would expect. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage with all of his power, but still be pretty tanky and hard to kill, not only with all those defensive abilities, but also with the fact that he can fly and is very mobile and very fast. So if something bad does come his way, he can just get out of there pretty quick. So there he is, the Dark Master, the Shadow Lord, the Harbinger, the God Slayer, whatever the hell he wants to be called. As we can use him in custom battles, I'm sure we can mess around with him on stream, and I'm sure many of you will mess around in multiplayer battles with your buds, and we'll see what Bellacor can really do. And if you're wondering, no, Bellacor does not have his own campaign. At least, not yet. Maybe one day, who knows what the DLCs may hold. But there you go, Bellacor in all his glory. I hope you've enjoyed this, thanks for watching, I will see you in Ziffyuk.